Welcome to Mesa. Today we'll go over how to get started in the Mesa dashboard and how to set up, manage, and track your workflows as they get to work automating tasks for your store. First, we'll start in the dashboard tab of the app. As I look through my dashboard, I'll see any workflows I've created, when I'm able to create them, as well as some workflow templates and apps that are recommended based on popularity along with integrations Mesa already has with the other apps on my store. Today, I'd like to ensure that all of my Shopify orders get sent to a Google Sheet when they're created. I could create this workflow from scratch, but since Mesa is all about saving time, I'll do a quick search through the template library within the dashboard to see if any pre-built templates can accomplish this. After doing a search for Google Sheets, it looks like there's already a template for what I'm looking for. When I click the template, I'm shown the steps of this workflow to be sure it fits the framework of what I need. After reviewing the additional template information and clicking install, I'm ready to view the new workflow. As promised in the template overview, there's some setup instructions to acknowledge before this workflow can be completed. First things first, I'll need to create a credential and authenticate it with Google in the Google Sheets Add Row to Sheets step. I'll use the Mesa Google app to authenticate with Google and after a few brief steps, I'll have my credential created, linked, and stored for future use. Next, I'll have to make sure the proper Google spreadsheet is added to the workflow so all of the order data can be sent where I need it. Within the setup instructions, I'm able to use a copy of the example provided, so I'll follow the steps to get the sheet created in my Google Drive and have it added to the workflow. After adding the spreadsheet to the proper field in the workflow, the setup instructions have been taken care of. I can review the Shopify order data that's being mapped to the sheet in the mapping field below, and if I needed to, I could add a few more rows to the sheet with additional order info by clicking the Add Row button. Now, I know my workflow will send any new Shopify order that's created on my store to this designated Google Sheet, but I want to build off this template by adding an email step at the end to confirm the order data was sent. As with creating a workflow from scratch, I'll simply add the step I want to build in. To do that, I'll click the Add Step button and do a search for Email to find Mesa's email app. After selecting that to add as a step in the workflow, I'll make sure I'm added as the recipient for the email, and I'll also add a useful subject and message describing the order that was mapped with the help of Mesa's token selector to the right of the field. Now the email app is a premium app, so I'll need to keep track of my usage limit as my workflow runs throughout the billing period. However, with everything complete, setup is done and I'm ready to enable and test. Most importantly, I'll save my changes, then go to settings to enable the workflow and logging. Logging will help me interpret the status of my tasks in the activity tab as the automation runs. I'll save my changes once more, and then I'll use the test button in the Shopify order created step to run an example payload for testing. After hitting run test to execute the automation, I'll have a quick look at the activity to ensure everything ran as it should. It looks like it has, so I'll first check my Google Sheet, everything has been mapped, and finally I'll check my email to see that Mesa confirmed the order was sent to my Google Sheet. And just like that, I've received my email regarding the example order and I can confirm my workflow is running perfectly. As we come back to the Mesa dashboard, I can edit or disable my newly created workflow and I can get started building new workflows. Now it's time to let Mesa go to work for you.